me and Brad Butter, Undeniable TV, Brad Butter Films. Just got back from Summer Madness, crazy night. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. I didn't expect half the stuff to happen to happen. Um, if you was following me on Twitter, you was following me on Facebook. It was, you know, I was running down the battles. You know, just for the people who couldn't could make it there. If you live on the other side of the world, if you live, if you just had to work. It don't matter. It just follow Brad Butter, and you would have known what happened. But not the whole night, cause my phone died. So I get home, crazy. My Facebook is crazy. My Twitter was crazy. So I'm making this this video to let y'all know how how the night went down for me. People telling me they heard this, heard that. Uh, certain stuff I could address. Certain stuff I can't. But that's what this video is about. Some of madness rundown. Blah. So the first battle, the first battle of the night, the first battle of the night was. First battle of the night was DNA X Factor. First battle. That battle. That battle was a great battle. X Factor came way from what from from my perspective, he came from way, way different, different perspective than he did from the surf battle. I think he took the surf battle, studied the game tapes, ran through it, learned what he needed to do, perfect his craft. And that's what he did. DNA, when it comes to performance, he always comes with it. We all know that. He always comes with the performance. So, he had that. Balls, I was expecting more. I'm not going to front. He, he had balls. I think DNA, he does a lot of times, balls go over the head of a lot of, the, a lot of the crowd. So, he's not getting the crazy reaction he's supposed to. But, that don't make his balls, you know what I'm saying, bad. I would have to give it to X Factor. I felt X Factor was more prepared for that battle. I'm not gonna lie. Crazy battle, one of the best battles out the night. But I give it to X Factor. You you'll be the judge when you see the footage. Um, that was a good battle though. It's not nobody nobody bag right there. X Factor just clearly won that battle to me. The next battle after that was Miles, Midwest Miles, and Tech Nine. I don't know if y'all was following my Twitter, following other people's Twitter who was in there. I'm a fan of both. I'm a fan of this rap stuff, so don't I don't know nobody take none of these and be like, oh Brad don't like this person, Brad don't like that person. Nah, I like everybody. If you coming with that fire, that's what I want to hear. But Tech Non Body Bag Miles. To me, Miles was Miles when he was he was rapping to me. To me, Miles was rapping instead of battling Tech. Like, Tech was battling. You know what I'm saying? Miles was just rapping. He was saying hot shit, hot stuff. But it had nothing to do with Tech Nine. It was regular, regular stuff like about him, about his life. That has nothing to do with like, yo, this is why I'm better than you. Or, or, or like, you know what I'm saying? A verse mode. Like, it felt like he was just on, on performance mode instead of verse mode or something. Like, I don't know. I didn't. I, Midwest Miles got it. I was disappointed. I was disappointed. I didn't see him. That's how I felt tonight. Even though he spit all his balls, it's how I felt when I see him choke against Lux. Like, like it was it was disappointing. Like from him, he a vet. He I didn't see him balls make me go crazy. Woo, all that. But you know I'm saying Tech got that. I don't, Tech got that to me. Three to three to zip. Next battle after that, Sue Surf K Shine. If not the best, second best, top three battles of the night. To me, it might have been the best. I ain't going to judge you. I, gotta, I only seen them once live. I'm saying when they come out with the footage, probably do another one after I rewatch everything. That was a good battle. If I had to say, and this is me, if I had to say, if I had to just judge it as a judge, I'm picking Surf because y'all going to see when the footage come out. They boo K like it was a lot of booing going on in there tonight. They boo K Sean on the second round. His third round was tough. They booed him on the second round. His first round was crazy. I gave him the first round. Surf second round was crazy. Body bag K Sean. I don't know if that had something to do why the crowd booed him, but to me, Surf second round. Oh, I like Surf all second round. His second rounds be crazy, but third round. I'm giving a surf, just I just feel he edged that round. Shine be shine got balls. I ain't gonna no front. Shine got balls. 
I like Sean. I like his his swag and the way he the way he rhymes. Like he and he acted out. Like you know, it's, I slide up on him like a dancer. Howdy, bro. Like I don't want to. I got. I know what he said tonight, but I ain't gonna release none of the bars till footage is out. But I'm gonna give that battle to Surf. That was a great battle, though. I like that as far as the way they was beefing, the grudge, the grudge between them was is before the battle it was so crazy that 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 was a good battle. Like a lot of the battles that night, the grudges was so crazy. Then you watch and then like somebody wasn't prepared the right way, and it's like yo, how you gonna let him do that to you? Like you supposed to be ready. Like you could tell who was ready tonight. Tonight was a was a night. Of the, the most prepared people, like if you was prepared, it didn't matter what your boss was about. If you was prepared, and you had your whole joint down packed, then I guess you was good. I mean, but to Surf K Shine, I'm giving it to Surf. Next battle after that was T Rex. No, next battle after that was Math and Calico. Math and Calico. All I'm say about and I, and I'm I'm a math fan. I'm a Cal fan too. Don't get me wrong. Cal got bars. I'm a Cal fan, but I'm a math fan too. He from New York. I'm from Jersey. I live in New York. I'm a math fan, and I like he's I like his bulliness. Like he be bullying niggas. Like and it works. Like, but. I personally think he tried to. It wasn't. He didn't. He had. He had some bars, like hard, like bars. But in the battle world, when you're in the crowd, you want to hear punchlines. You don't want to hear, "I'ma shoot you and just bury you." You want to hear, "I'ma shoot you up high like a plane and bury you like a whatever." I don't rap, but you know what I'm saying. Math bars was too bullyish. Like I think he thought he was gonna come and just bully Calico like he do everybody else, cause he do bully everybody else, and that should be working. Calico one wasn't having it, and then Cal hey, yo, this ain't me. I I, I wasn't booing niggas because I respect the grind. They booed math too, and I, I felt like that like that that kind of touched me. Being that I live in New York, and the event is in New York, and math is from Brooklyn, like Brooklyn, the heart of New York, one of the hearts of New York. But math got booed, and I was looking around like, yo, I can't believe y'all booing math. Y'all not even trying to hear him out. I honestly think they ain't trying to hear him out. But Calico went in. When Calico, when it was Calico turn, his he was prepared. Like his balls was crazy, punchliney, make you think. He just was prepared. He came with it and just demolished math, demolished math. So that's my take on that. I give that to Calico. Next battle is um, T Rex and Conceited. That battle, another one like Surf and Shine. I don't want to compare rappers, but as as a battle, whole battle, entertainment-wise, that battle was one of the most entertaining because it wasn't a body bag. It wasn't like, oh, this nigga won. It was like, like I'ma say, I'ma just, I'ma tell y'all right now, I give it to Khan. I'm lying, I give it to Rex. I had to really think about it. I'ma give that to Rex. But that's one of those, that's gonna be one of them crazy disp dis disputed battles. Excuse me, it's late. It's like four in the morning. That's gonna be one of them crazy disputed battles. Cause you know, if you know Khan, you know he come with the punches like this. He don't, he don't, he don't, he don't do setup line, setup line, setup line, crazy punch. He do punch, 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 crazy punch. And if you know Rex, he does a he he got his flow. I don't even know how to explain it, cause his flow is just him. Like it's different than the most battle rappers do. Like you, you could listen, you know you could watch some battle rappers. And you'll be like, oh, he's doing basic battle rap way to rap. But Rex got, you know, Rex do his own, his swag. Like he like he said in the trailer, he come, you know, nigga, yeah. He did that, and like, I, for, I ain't gonna, I didn't forget, I ain't gonna say the ball till the footage is out. It was one ball in Rex's third round, well, not ball, but like one, one punchline, one set of balls, one set of like four balls that made me go oh yeah he got this he got the win for me like that the one that one it was even until that and it was like that was crazy so i'm gonna get that to rex and i can see it my fault i'm gonna give it to rex good shit hold him up con up though con you was doing your thing you got you had plenty of bars my nigga plenty of bars and bars about the hype man was crazy y'all gonna see that man shout out to con shout out to rex next battle after that was Aver and charlie 
take my hat off for this one. Cause I got waves too, you know what I'm saying? But look at that right there had me doing this. Clips went first. First of all, clips ain't even wanted. You know how they do the coin toss and they go, well, do you want it? You want to toss? Or he could go first. Is I? Right. And then if it's I right with both of them, then whoever go first. Nigga, Clip starts spitting when Smack say we gonna do the coin toss. Like, that's how hungry he was to get back in the ring. Like, he, just, I could tell that his face when he came out, he was hype, happy. Like he, like he had seen the future. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause Averb came. I was, a Verb and Miles must be related because I was disappointed in both of them. I'm a Verb fan. I think Verb bodied a couple dudes. I think maybe one or two of his people he battled beat him. Like, but he he just same thing. It sounded like he was rapping, but he just didn't he didn't come with the with the crazy energy like 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 clips did. Clips came with the bars. I mean the the shits that you that you that if you if you on Verb's side you gonna go damn. Nigga just said that, like, like you know what I'm saying. And Verb was just, and like they had to stop every every round. They had to stop Verb on some yo time, like, cause he just, I mean, not Verb, my on my fault. Every round they had to stop clips, like, yo, you just going in, like, it was. It, I was in the crowd. It was people in the crowd next to me telling Verbs, like, yo, don't even rap no more, like, you did, you spit enough, like, you know what I'm saying. That was crazy. That was another body bag to me. That was a body bag. I, I don't. This, this is just my opinions of the battles. So, don't think I don't like Averb son. He's a cool dude. I don't know him personally, but you know what I'm saying I tweeted him a couple times. You know what I'm saying? I seen him in the thing. He was cool. And he was chilling. But you know what I'm saying? Clips got that. B. Clips got that by a long shot. That was another three and no body bag. You know what I'm saying? That was a body bag, just like the Miles and Math. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it, I'm keeping it funky. Y'all gonna see when footage come out. I ain't lying. Um, Y'all probably seen and heard about it on Twitter and all that. Last battle of the whole night. Main event, I guess. I don't set up the card, but last battle was Hitman Holla versus Holla did it and then on. Woo! I had to put my hat back on. That one. That one, I, I might, I might call it a draw now and do another video and tell you the winner. Cause, nah, nah, I got it. I'm gonna give it to Hollow the Dawn. Hollow did some crazy funny shit at the end. Like not like funny, like weird, like funny, like funny, like aha, you stupid. Funny shit at the end that nobody was expecting. I don't even think Smack knew like that the shit was gonna happen. Nothing crazy. Don't take this and think like niggas jumped off the roof or something. Like it was just. During the battle, something happened, and it's like, oh, that was crazy. But um, I'm gonna give it to Hollow. Hitman got balls. Hitman got balls for days. I love the way he battled. My favorite battle ever is Hitman and Cortez. To this day, even after even after tonight, my that's still my favorite battle. Um, not to say that 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 battle was better, because I don't think that battle is has a winner. I think Hitman and Cortez was one of the battles where it was so good that it don't matter. It was just entertaining, it was fun to watch. But yeah, I don't have nothing to do it tonight. But I'm gonna give this one a hollow. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, hollow this nigga hollow changed his outfit three times. Every round he changed his whole outfit like so that was cool. And then you know what I'm saying? That's just how it go. So Brad Butter, there you have it. You are real predictions. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Smack, shout out to Beasley, shout out to everybody holding it down, whoever, everybody, Webster Hall, everybody who had this event down packed. I loved it. My feet fucking hurt though. I had to stand up all night, but I loved it. Y'all had, had the ball popping. The sound was on point. It wasn't nothing wrong. It's just only, it's just, the, it was hot. But that's, anyway, you can't do nothing about that. Shout out to Smack. It's Brad Butter Films, Undeniable TV. Shout out Dash, King, the whole Undeniable fan, Marty. Beach Boy Brody, I see you. We was all in there. JB, I see you, Cliff. We was all in there, man. Anybody forgot Bump? Bree? We was all in there, man. Undeniable TV. Brad Butter Films. URL. Summer Madness. I witnessed it. If you didn't, now you know.